is Allison Gottlieb, and my mom died of cancer when I was eight. She first got breast cancer shortly after my little sister was born, so I was, my, my, my sister is three years younger than I am, so uh, when I was like four, she got the cancer the first time. And so she got like, that surgery where they, well, I can't remember the name of the surgery, but mastectomy, double mastectomy. And she did lots of chemo and her hair fell out and she had to have wigs and hats. And I, we, most of our pictures, that, that's just, I don't, I, mean, I don't remember what she looked like with normal hair. And all my pictures, I just remember the wigs and the hats and the really short hair. And then, but she was getting better. And then sort of the summer before I went to third grade, it came back. It had spread, I think it's that word, in the, in the metastatic. I started spreading, and she went into the hospital, and she had to stay in the hospital for like a week or something, and she never got better. But when I think about the future, I'll realize, you know, my mom's not going to be there to, for all the things that my mom's supposed to be there for. Like, before junior prom, I was crying. Crying, crying myself to sleep and like a couple nights before with I was like, oh, I'll never get to have the pictures with my mom and have her see me get all dressed up for prom. Same thing, she's never going to see me graduate. She's not going to be there to walk, she's not going to be there at my wedding. All those things. It's just, sometimes I wonder like, how much of her do I really even know? Like how much of her in my mind is the real her or it's just a, an eight year old's ideals? idealized version and then that's really sad because it's like I don't even remember who she really was and I just holding her up on this pedestal of who she should have should have been would have been is in my head. Death sucks and losing someone that you think is supposed to always that's supposed to always be there it, it, it changes you. There's no way around it. You're not the same person that you were before or that you could have been otherwise and you kind of just have to sometimes it's a sometimes I wonder if that if it's a if that's sometimes a good thing because of the, that I dealt with something learned how to deal with something like that so young that's going to prepare me better for other things other hardships in the future and then sometimes it's like oh well, who, who could I have been if I hadn't had that happen to me, if I hadn't basically crawled into my crawled into my shell like a turtle in third in third grade and took like three years to come out, who could I have been?